Mate, I just started the video and that's the first thing you said. <laughs> Hi guys, Steamer Boy 14 here today. Huh? I'm I'm feel I'm I'm doing my my uh crap. Spin tires. Might run a game. Doing part nine. That's right. Oh, you idiot. it. Okay. All right. Hi guys. Again, Steve Boy 14 here today. And uh, again, today, another Mud Runner video. As you've seen from my previous videos, I've done quite a bit, got stuck, which is what you're not supposed to do. But I thought I'd elaborate on the on the game a bit. Basically, what you got to do here is, uh, if I go onto the map, this is the map. There's no concrete roads apart from, from there, all the way to there. And that's it and just that little bit there that's it as you can see this is one of the maps called uh, island and uh, each round it you got places like the fuel station the garages where you keep all your vehicles the logs kiosk where you pick up logs to um, take to the lumber mill as you can see I completed this one in the last video and uh, today or well, carry on with this first basically these things here are just different types of vehicles but the uh, key of the game is not to get stuck. If you get stuck, no problem. You don't die or anything. You just gotta try and figure out a way to get yourself unstuck whilst carrying so much lumber. So anyway, if I hop back into this again, um, just trying to plan a route. That's another thing. You have to plan a route where you don't get stuck. If you remember in the last video, I got stuck around here. Sorry about the sensitivity, it's quite high, I don't have to change that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I got stuck around here last time. And as you remember, I had to get that truck out. Well, I think it was, sorry, it was this truck out, that one, with these two, just to get across that river. Um, so I think, I think today, I don't think I'll go back that way. I'll try and find a different way to go back, like, I don't know, up here or something, on this road, try and cross there to that bit but then again that might be a bit bit of trouble cross back onto the road either go back to the garage there or I don't know probably do the other lumber mill speaking of which where is the other mill there it is there yeah there it is the only thing is though as you can see there's a block post as it says that trucks with no lumber are allowed to pass which adds an even greater complication that which means you cannot go on that concrete road with wood to go to that so basically I've the one I'm probably thinking of doing is from here down there this is probably a bad idea going back this way around there and across there to there or I could go back here go the very long way around through here to there um, I probably switch from trucks to truck from time to time <laughs> and because uh, obviously you got to figure out your fuel like if I, if I, if I, if I, there you go that little green line there in the fuel tank that's how much fuel I've got and if you look down in the HUD on the bottom left hand corner that's your uh, other HUD as well uh, yeah this thing's got two, two fuel tanks if I go, yep press down or anything on the d-pad do that you can that's basically a different menu that you can I don't know detach or change truck but usually if you've got abilities or something else <coughs> that's where you'd go to well give repair trucks give uh, other trucks fuel and yeah really so let's start this up and drive let's stop do that Oh, by the way, X uh, circle, X is from rear wheel drive to all wheel drive, circle is obviously park and brake, and if you press um, the right, I think it's right three, yeah right three, you, you get the gear change. Now in this game, to get yourself unstuck, you've uh, got these three little notches on first gear. Uh, in most trucks it's a bit hard to get yourself moving in this gear 
So as you've seen in my previous videos, I usually stick it in the second notch here, or full notch. You get the same thing for a reverse as well, even though it's a little bit harder to see the notches in my opinion. And you've obviously got plus one. To be honest with you, that's more of a higher first gear. Um, and then obviously you've got automatic. With automatic, it won't let you use any diff lock. So if I stick it into first gear, start the engine. As you can see, you've got diff lock as square. And again, all wheels are off now, diff lock's off. Um, diff lock uses fuel, so does uh, all wheels. So if I was going up this road here, if you over there, or anywhere here, I would probably have this in second like that. All wheels on and diff lock. I know, you, I know I've just said it uses a lot of fuel, but it's easier. Sometimes you can be, do a bit of a challenge and do it about diff lock, but you'll be there ages otherwise. Uh, what else? Um, L1, lights, R1, horn. Um, again, back into advanced. As you can see, now that I've started the engine, there's a load more options. You've got uh, the anchors. This is basically, uh, well, you know like those big articulated cranes you get on building sites. It's like that push that down to make it steady then you have the crane now as you've seen in my past videos I find this thing very tricky because it's kind of inverted but you can see the way it works just by the little HUD down the bottom there just to give you a helping hand basically and I like that it's a good little good little feature um, but yeah it's quite easy again it, it, it has lights um, Strangely enough, in Hardcore, you have to use this thing. There's two modes, Hardcore and Casual. Hardcore, you have to use this thing, whilst in Casual, you just go up to the log, uh, log kiosk and... Uh, hang on. <laughs> like I said, it was a bit hard for me to... There we go. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, log, log kiosk. Yeah. In uh, Casual, you just go up to the log kiosk, select what size logs you want from short to large and it will load it automatically um, so yeah that's pretty much it uh, right now I think we need to get back somehow <coughs> um, if I go back it's gonna be a disaster I just I just know it go back this way well, it's a good thing I've, I've got nothing on the back of it, so I shouldn't tip over this time, like in, uh, what part was it? Part 4 or 5? Don't know. <laughs> tell, me, tell me in the comments. Um, yeah, go back this way. All the way back to there. Where I think I've got the 4x4 four four and a fuel lorry, because as you can see, I've got quite... I haven't got that much fuel. So, let's go. See what I mean? This is without diff lock. So it's harder. And so all wheels, like if, if there's just one set of wheels spinning, it's going to be even harder just to try and get the truck moving. It's even harder with a trailer, because you, you just jackknife like that. So let's ram it, ram it into first gear. <coughs> put this lock on but yeah I have to admit this, I've, I've been playing this game ever since it was on the PC well it still is on the PC but um, ever since it was just called Spin Tires and I've been absolutely obsessed with this game because uh, oh, yeah that's another thing if you drive on uh, a road that's like this not completely full of mud and it's h just hard stuff um, you will damage the diff lock and damage your truck in hardcore only um, if you have that on and you're on that sort of surface but anyway um, yeah where was I? I've forgotten um, yeah I've been playing this game yeah I remember now I've been playing this game since it was called Spin Tires it was quite a shame really because um, I think from what I've learnt from other 
watching other videos that um, the developers kind of had a fight or something with each other and um, so the game wasn't developed any further but now one of them one of the deve yeah, developers <coughs> have uh, got together with Focus and Saber and uh, and, this fo and this Focus is the people that made it in the first place but yeah which uh, now means the games come to console now which is brilliant um, does I'm not gonna like does say it on the oh I like watch it back watch it back yeah this, this is what I was talking about see that that's what happens when you've got a diff lock so I'm gonna stick diff lock on it and uh, yeah there you go that's another thing as well if you don't have diff lock and it just you just spin the wheels you're gonna dig yourself in if you if you don't, you know, uh, yeah. If you don't get yourself out of it, then you'll just get stuck. Um, but yeah, love this game. Absolutely love it. Brilliant. Um, physics, superb. The best I've ever seen in a game. In like PC or, or console, it's amazing. Um, Yoda, I've been trying to convince Yoda to try and buy it. But he's kind of put off at how slow the trucks go. Um, like I've explained just now, you have to go slow. You can't just stick it in first, put your foot down and go. Otherwise, like I said, you're going to get dug in. <coughs> yeah. That's another thing, you have a winch. And to, uh, yeah, that's how to release it. To use it, you just press triangle if you're on a PS4 system move the camera to any of those white dots and then just press triangle winch connected and again if you want to get rid of it press the up or down for the advanced menu press release done done and then uh, this will be Yonada which realize what's done oh no that's another thing as well yeah don't don't get dug in <laughs> these, these rocks right here even though you've got massive tyres on your truck, they will stop you. I mean, this is this kind of terrain that I'm on is sand. And I did say to you earlier that you know this was a bad idea coming down here, so I'm going to go back the other way. See if I can see if I can uh, <laughs> I've got more as they say. Oh, um, yeah, see if I can get it get back to the garage that way. And diff lock off. Yeah, because I've I've got to get up to that waypoint, or I can just move it one or two. <coughs> there is uh, just say there is a first person view, which kind of is well, in my opinion, blew my mind because I like I said I used to play this game when it was on the PC. Oh, hang on, on the PC, I never. That the, there never was a first person view on the PC version <coughs> there never was a, uh, the, uh, yeah there never was a first person view and um, for them to actually add a first person view is just amazing but yeah that's the first person view yeah it's amazing it's like a separate little HUD in the, in the vehicle like you get in a normal car you know what I mean Oh, there's a truck we used last episode. Still sitting there. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot there was a river there. Um, how am I going to go at this? But yeah, you got everything on there. You got a fuel gauge. You got um, oil pressure gauge. So far, I haven't seen any of the others do anything, apart from the fuel gauge, the rev, and the speedo. And obviously the compass and you know that stuff. I need that on. Turn that off. Right. Um, to change the truck, you could either go into the map like that by hitting the touchpad. Oh, that's new. I did not know you could do that. See, I'm still learning things. I've been playing on a PS4 system for like um, 
a year or two now and I'm still finding out what the touchpad does. I'm, I'm an idiot. Right, yeah. You can change truck by pressing triangle in the map or you can go to the advanced, go to stop engine just to save fuel. I mean, it's, trust me, it's helpful. Um, and then go down to change truck. Then you'll see a circle appear. And whatever truck is in this circle, you can select it by uh, looking around and like that. All right, now we're in the truck. It's got quite a bit of fuel actually. <coughs> Put the lights on. Um, just to start it up, just press the accelerate button really, and it just starts it up. Cool beans. Stick it in first. All wheel drive. Give it the beans. It says. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Right, another good thing about this is, is that if you are trying to go across a river, I know this is not exactly a river, but a small stream-ish, um, always um, turn the engine off. Obviously lights as well. But if you're... change truck, start the engine, otherwise you can't... Oh, that's quite low. That, that petrol's quite low. Or gasoline if you're in America. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. You can also winch to other trucks as well. And yep, the other truck starts this engine because it can help you to pull or push you out of a situation. Um, that is what I did in the last episode. Uh, not episode, what, episode 8 and episode 7 as well. To do that, you just press triangle does it for you. It also helps to you know, give your truck a bit of beans as well. By, by giving it the beans I mean accelerating and ploughing for it. Uh, so now, once that's out, I don't know why it drove over there. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to change, release that first of all. Change truck. Stop engine. Go back to the other one. And go. Now I've actually forgotten where I'm going. That, that's another thing as well. If you don't go over to one of the waypoints, it won't let you um, do anything. But oh well, I'm just gonna have to move it. By doing that, you just press the X on it, put it down. Same with that one. Might as well move that to there. Since I'm gonna go on the road right now. Well, the end of the road. <laughs> the engine road. But anyway, yeah, these these episodes are going to probably take a long, long time because they they go incredibly slow. But like I said before, you you kind of got to because the aim of the game is not to spin your tires. That's why it's called spin tires or Mud Runner A spin tires game. Um, but yeah, it's, like I said, brilliant game, and I'm. Really, really running out of fuel. That's not good. That's not a good thing. So I'm going to take dip lock off, jam it into plus one. Because it's, it's all right on this sort of ground until you get to it, something like that or some pretty thick mud. That's when you might need it and might need to put it down in gear or so. But um, what else can I say? Oh yeah, weight on trucks. Um, when you have logs. It does add weight. Uh, the, the physics in this game is honestly mind-blowing when you first play it. It's well simulated. Down to the down to the terrain, its suspension, everything. It's truly amazing. Um, like I said, it's my it's my favourite game in, in my in my uh, collection, so to speak. Um, but yeah, the physics. Amazing. Um, yeah, when you uh, when you add the logs to your, to this sort of truck to a loader like this, um, it it like like the last video, you get stuck really easily, and it's just amazing how they've added small details as well, uh, like the mud getting caught up in the tyres and stuff like that. But anyway, um, 
yeah that's my little 4x4 four four on the uh, on the right there <coughs> and this is my fuel truck on the left I'm going to stop the engine and then change truck to that go into the advanced menu see with this I've added two fuel tanks to this the other one's a trailer which has repair points and the thing on the back of the truck is just a normal tanker so on the back of this I'm going to go to the utility trailer yeah because as you can see there repair utility trailer that's the thing at the back and also fuel right and then like the winch and we've changed in the truck you can just do the same with this really use the camera to look around at what trucks need filling up or repairing or anything and just simple as and as you can see um, the fuel that green stuff is the fuel it does go it does go down and it does slosh about in the tank it's I can't I can't give this game enough praise at how good the physics are and other stuff like that it's I'm to be honest with me I'm easily impressed and it's made me speechless um, but yeah now the truck's all filled up change back to it and um, probably move it out the way actually or I could take it to the logs kiosk take it to the logs kiosk uh, where am I right now I'm there okay see there's so many other logs kiosks there's like there's like three there and that's it that's the whole map um, another feature I like is that if you zoom in you get these red bars oh excuse me they tell you how deep the water is see as you can see there it's like small that's pretty shallow and gets deeper and deeper and deeper and yeah does the same for those streams over there which is I didn't really pay much attention to those in the last two episodes which is why I um, <coughs> which is why I uh, got stuck like I did now, as you can see there look even a little puddle has those red lines which tells you how deep they are but anyway enough of that um right yeah I was gonna go to the logs kiosk wasn't I? there yeah there then once I'm there I might go on a mad truck recovering spree seeing as I've seeing as I um I've literally lodged them all over the place. That one, the K seven hundred, it's a really powerful truck, but it's um, articulated, which is quite hard because it bends in the middle, which is what artic articulated means. Like I said, I'm an idiot. Um, oh, that's cool. Take the handbrake off; it rolls down by itself. Anyway, all right. Where are you made that? So yeah, off we go to the log scale. <coughs> First got to reverse this out of the way. As you can see, when I took the diff lock off, it changed the uh, litres per minute from a double figured number to a single. So he says, unless it's just, unless it's the old, yes, yeah, the old drive. So, yeah, let's put that in there. And also, another thing about this game is, is that you, you can't just go in a straight line. You have to kind of navigate through the mud. Otherwise, if, if you don't, again, this this will happen. You get stuck. Um, where, where those tracks are near the gear stick over here, um, you can see that's hard ground. So try and aim for stuff like that, and it will help you. <coughs> So yeah, this is where all wheels and diff lock comes in handy, and keeping it in that sort of gear. But once you're out of it, you're okay. You, you don't really need the diff lock or anything on much. You can jam it in whatever gear you want after that. Um, yeah, like I said, you've got to navigate virtually through the mud. And what, like I said, I'm, <laughs> again, like I said, I'm trying to. Uh, get Yoda edits to get this game 
and we've got a feeling of Misty turning, which is down here, there it is. Yeah, I'm trying to persuade him to get this game, because it's not just a single player game, it is a multiplayer game. <coughs> that means you can have up to four people in one server, on whatever map, and there's, I think, six or seven maps. Yeah. But the only downside is, is that throughout the game you have to progress through each map. So basically, to get this map, I had to finish and complete another map. Because um, this one, this one's uh, the island. The first one was, I think, the shore. So yeah, once, once I completed that map, it was on to the next one. And you don't just uh, unlock maps either. You unlock vehicles and uh, other stuff like that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, but yeah. The only thing with this is, is that when you're at a logs kiosk, you have to get your truck and trailer straight. Because if, if it's not straight, it won't, it will say, uh -uh, no, you can't load it. Please reposition your truck. So anyway, let's uh, load up some logs, shall we? No, don't want to do that. <laughs> there we go. Like I said, I'm absolutely terrible at this, this crane. Um, let's have a look. See, this truck, this truck, 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 can uh, take up, take, uh, medium logs. You can get uh, trailers and trucks that can take long logs which are as you can see there I think six points, medium logs four points and uh, short logs three points. As you've seen in the last videos um, each lumber mill you've got to get eight logs to and um, eight well you just got to get eight logs eight points to it really that's like two trips for medium logs, um, probably one trip of long logs, and then uh, one, yeah, my, ma my maths isn't that bad, um, my maths is pretty bad, um, but yeah, anyway, <coughs> you have to kind of press X to hold how many logs you want, um, you can take a, that's the, the maximum you can have in the loader. Um, but you can, if I'm lucky, pick up two of this thing. This is kind of that weird game, well not a weird game, the, the game you get in an arcade where you've got to pick it up and uh, pick, up, pick up the animal and try and get it in the hull before it drops. Kind of that like rip-off game, really. <laughs> kind of that like rip-off game, really. Oh, yeah, the other is left. Yep, this is no. Uh, yeah, it is, it is hard, but enjoyable, it's definitely worth it, Def definitely worth it the money, uh, I, like I said I, I love this game, brilliant, um, the, the guy that really got me into this game was um, a YouTuber called Squirrel, if you've heard of him, called the uh, when I started watching these videos, I think he was called the Squirrels Nuts, or the Squirrels Nuts. I can't remember. But yeah, he was, he's a brilliant YouTuber. And stuff. <coughs> I go to uh, his channel, or, as well as a few other channels for recommendations and stuff like that. Just watch his videos, really. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got a, the trailer and truck perfectly straight. So I can just uh, pack it. And it even resets the the crane and everything for you. <coughs> and also, as I said earlier, as you can see, they really have added weight. Uh, once you add the logs to it, it pushes the uh, truck and trailer lower down, so it's harder to get through. Get through the mud, anyways. Um, yeah, I think for the time being, I shall leave this here. I shall show you some of the other vehicles. Um, yeah. If I hop over to the 
four by four. By doing that, you go to the map, you know, select any one of these. These are all the trucks down the side here, and they're the lumber mills. As you can see, one's already completed, which is that one. The other one is there. That's what we're going to be doing in another episode. But for today, just you know, getting you used to me really, and uh, my my annoying voice. Um, but yeah, sort of saying, sort, uh, sort of showing you the game as well. This, I have to admit, this little 4x4 is brilliant. I love it. It's the most lightweight vehicle there is in this game. <coughs> Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, let's go. I think I should go to the. If I pause that. Mm. Seven hundred. Go to the seven hundred. It's basically just down there. There. I haven't got to go down there, or I could go down there. Actually, there's a road down there, but don't trust these roads on the map because um, we well, can trust them. But sometimes that it will show you like a road up here, say for instance, and you'll go up there and realise oh, there's not actually a road. So yeah, and if you're wondering what these weird light light circles are, that's where a cloaking was. If you remember in uh, Trucks and Covers, um, the reason I called it Trucks and Covers because I didn't know how to spell cloak, so you know <laughs> that's why I call it Trucks and Covers. Um, but yeah, these were where the cloaks were. Um, you have to move closer to them to remove them, and therefore you can see more trucks that are being hidden by these cloaks. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's get going. <coughs> Thing is, with uh, this little four by four, it's good, and it's. It's a great scouting vehicle. Like my 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 personal tip is, whenever you start the map, always have this vehicle, because um, it's it's a great scouting vehicle. And it, you, as you can see, you don't need much fuel. It's only one liter per minute, and it's light. It's easy to drive, and uh, yeah, it's uh, quite the handy little vehicle if you wanna do repairs until it gets stuck. <laughs> In that case, just do that. Engage diff lock. There you go. Actually, jam it down there. There we go. Yeah, there are tutorials uh, in this game. It's not just, you know, you got to do this map, you know, get logs to there. There are tutorials and things like challenges. Um, as you've seen in Night Safari, if you've seen it on the channel, on the Elite Gamers channel. Um, Night Safari was one of the challenges I did. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Like it, uh, if you want. And, uh, yeah. But the tutorials basically show you how to use the different gears. And, um, stuff like that, really. And it's a tutorial. Um yeah. Just look at that. You know, the details going to it. I was actually quite surprised that this game would run on a standard laptop. Because I, I I haven't got anything. And I'm only recording this with um well, the share button on the PS4 and a, a set of headphones with a microphone in it. And that, that's how you can hear my voice. I'm, I'm literally a, a new YouTuber, apart from Yoda Edits and Chunky Boy. They're, they're, they've got hundreds of thousands of, well, hundreds of subscribers on their channel. Check check his, uh, check their channels out, by the way, Yoda Edits and Chunky Boy. Uh, yeah. Because they're, they're part of this joint um, YouTube channel. I'm just the one that's. Uh, a noob, so to speak, to this. I'm kind of a, a newbie. Uh, so yeah, 
hopefully I make good content for you guys. Um, I try not to talk too much, but you know. Um, yeah. I can't think what else to talk about now. Um, we're, we're the sort of channel that um, just puts up videos of what we want to play. Because we haven't got enough subscribers yet, we don't know what you guys want to watch, so we just put out videos of what we're playing at the moment. Um, but yeah, let us know what you want us to see. Uh, let, let us know what you want to see us play. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Like I said, first first time YouTubing, so this is kind of a new thing for me. In, in my mind, it's a weird concept just speaking to myself. <laughs> but then again, I do it mostly. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Just put it down in the comments what you want us to see. Again, what you want, <laughs> what you want to see us play. Um, I shall ask Tom, aka Yoda Edits to uh, see if I can put up a list of games I have compared to his and I don't know where I'm going where am I going I'm going there right yeah yeah put up a list on the channel of what games I have and then if you guys want me to do a series let me know in the comments uh, but yeah so far we're trying to get to K700, which is a really good truck. I'm thinking about taking it back to the garage, really, because I'm not using it. Um, but yeah. At the moment, Tom, aka Yoda Edits, is uh, kind of hyped up because he's just bought Battlefield 1. It was one of the games on the list I reckon recommended him. It was uh, Battlefield 1 and this, this game. And uh, in Crash Bandicoot, I've got Crash Bandicoot. It's it's an all-time classic and favourite of mine. Believe it or not, it was the very first game I ever played on a PS system, and that was when it was PS One. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty old. My voice doesn't seem it, but yeah, I'm pretty old. Uh, yeah, that's the K700. It to me is a pointless vehicle, really. It's yeah, it's good because it's big, bulky, and can plow through anything. And when I mean plow through anything, it can literally go through anything. Um, yeah. Stop. The thing I hate is that annoying, really, really annoying whir. I cannot stand it. It does my head in. I know it's the turbo. But it just oh, does my head in so much. Loader. No idea what the loader's for, to be honest with you. No clue. Well, that was probably me being stupid. But I have no clue what it actually is, is for. So I just leave it as is, really. So, um. Yeah, let's take this back to garage, but not not that one, not that one there. Go all the way to there. So I could probably show you how good it is off road. Come to think of it, uh, yeah. <coughs> Thrash it across there and into there. Yeah, that, that's why I think it's annoying because every time you turn. It revs the engine, and then you get that annoying whirring noise. But, like I said, it's a good truck. That noise. I hate that noise. But, you got to deal with it. Well, I've got to deal with it. You can just stop the video whenever you want, really. And get bored. Um, but, yeah. See what I mean about it? It's firing for everything. It's brilliant. Again, uh, you get a... Um, yeah, you get a first person view in every single vehicle. 
The only thing that changes is the... Uh, oh, God! Jesus. That was a bad idea. Oh, God. Please don't let me get out of that. Come on. Come on. I thought it was made even worse than that. Oh, no. That's another thing. If the truck is pretty small, you will get you will get swept away by the sea. I'm not that like I said on so many times this video, this game is so deep now. Yeah, I'm I'm bogged down. That's exactly what you don't want to do. <laughs> Come on. I think that's kind of uh, proving the point that not everything's invincible. Yeah, release. Ooh, don't stall. That's uh yeah, that's that's another thing. If you um you, you can't just stick it into plus one and drive. Because that will happen. And if you do that, you just stall the engine. So you've got you to put it in like first, get it up to um, enough, you know, kilometres an hour or miles per hour. And then, um, and then put it in first, plus. What am I stuck on? Come on. What you like? I've got an oversized 4x4 and you can't make it up to that, are you kidding me? Okay, I think I was wrong about this truck. It does not... It is pretty crap. But then again, my, my control is broken. Yeah, that's, that's not, a, not an excuse. Come on. Yep, this is the uh, concrete road I told you about earlier. This is basically it. That's it. Just that little road there. That, that's where we are now. That's it. So now I'm going to go up there to that garage and ditch this thing. Because the other truck there is pretty terrible I've got the garage. I've kind of kept all the bad ones. <laughs> kind of kept all the bad trucks away from the good truck. But I guess now come in handy for when I need to get out of the ditch or something. So, yeah, I kind of keep on that hand. <coughs> yeah. I'm kind of also helping the point of why you should go slow in this game. Because you will, <coughs> even in a big truck like this, you will get bogged down. So it's best to go slow and uh, carve the mud up. This truck here um, is the truck you saw in uh, Stuck. That's, that's, that's where I've left it since you've last saw it. Oh, yeah. The garage is where you just add stuff to it where you can take things off. And stuff like that. But I'm, I'm just going to leave this here because I can't stand it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's the truck. Yeah, this is the truck that was in stuck. Um, I've just abandoned it. Abandoned it here now because... It's terrible. People, I think people say it's a good truck. I think. <laughs> I don't know. That's only what I've heard. But um, apparently, you know, that's that's where, like I said, that's where I've abandoned it, not using it. That's where I'm going to leave that one. Um, 
yeah there's still those two trucks to go pick up but I think this video has gone on for long enough so thanks for watching guys Steamerboy14 see you in the next video